Welcome everybody. Dirty Hard Talk. I'm your host, Pepper Day. Uh, and as always, I made it spicy with you and also with you. On this wonderful Sunday, we're gonna be oh, be trying out some fantastic sauces as always. We'll be talking about some current events coming up in the spicy community, uh, as well as uh, talking a little bit about the holidays. Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan when people say that because it's like just wait until Christmas. But, you know, Eric, my guy, Creature Sauce Co., how's it going, my man? Um, so, yeah, we'll get into the... Um, the holiday talk, and we'll get into uh, speaking a little bit about all these fantastic sauces that we're going to try today, uh, as well as uh, give that sermon on, on holidays and, and, and family and what that means. So, uh, some of the sauces we're going to be trying today, uh, got today's Adventure First Sauce, which just released, uh, super excited to try that. We got a big old box from Canada. I've never had any Canadian sauces, so we're going to be trying that out. What's up, Mary? How's it going, Jordan? And a couple of other ones. So we got the Medusa. That's from Capsaicin Cartel. We've got Mr. Jordan sauce, the Hub sauce, the Gold Metal Mustard, as well as another Capsaicin Cartel, which is the Leal Noir. And that's a black garlic hot sauce. So very excited to try these sauces today. Uh, some big news coming up in the pepper community is we have the Hulu series premiering that focuses its attention on a lot of different spicy members of the community. Uh, that'll be premiering in January. So super close. Very excited about that. They just dropped the first promo. Um, so we actually see some of like the going ons and what, what might be uh, put on that. Very exciting. Please, please, please go and support that. Watch it over and over again. Um, I'm hoping that it leads to more opportunities for more members of the spicy community to be highlighted. And uh, the more people that get highlighted, the, the more our community will grow. So um, please try to, to try to check that out. I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, one thing that is coming up uh, if you don't know, uh, one place where the big dogs play as far as in the spicy community is in a group called Capsaicin Crew or Cat Crew. And uh, one thing that they have coming up soon, and I'll be posting videos on it because it's going to be very fun, is the 12 Days of Christmas. So if you can't tell, this is a nice little advent calendar that uh, has 12 different spots of a little bit of a burn so that's going to be exciting i look forward to that trying to get my tolerance up for my belt match that'll be taking place in april uh down near tampa florida this upcoming year so very excited about that got to see it and um yeah it's going to be an absolute blast so yeah uh check out the videos check out the youtube uh and and watch me go through a little bit of pain that's always fun right all right, so we're going to get into it. Um, we're going to go ahead and try this Medusa sauce out. So let me show that a little bit better. Again, this is from Capsaicin Cartel. Okay, camera, let's not do it that much. It's going to be Christmas. All right, so the Medusa is an orange ginger, cayenne orange, jujimbre, and regular cayenne. This wait, is this a drink? Oh, this is a drink. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's interesting. Now I'm super intrigued. I thought this was a sauce. I thought it was a watery sauce, but I thought it was a sauce. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess you know give it the, the old Taylor Swift and shake it up, shake it up. And we're gonna give this. Uh, we're gonna give this back. Um, chug it. Maybe. 
Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know about all you guys. I love ginger. Pickled ginger, uh, ginger beer. Like, I just had a beverage last night with the old cock and bull. If you haven't had that, it's a fantastic ginger beer. Great mixture. Delicious. This, you, right away, it's, 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 you get like a nice herbal tea smell and uh, definitely a, 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 a huge slap in the face of ginger. Oh, that's nice. Um, right after, it, it's, I mean, it's an herbal tea. Right after the ginger, you get a nice little, pop, <laughs> nice, nice little, Boop, boop, of, uh, of some heat from that cayenne. That's delicious. Can I chug it? The Medusa. The Medusa Deuce. Let's chug it. That is lovely. Wow. Wow. Uh, highly recommend this. Uh, Capsaicin Cartel. Check them out online. They're based out of Canada. Super delicious. Again, the Medusa Deuce. Yeah, my hair is going to turn into snakes. <laughs> Wow, that's super yummy, guys. <laughs> it's like, that's delicious. Cleanse my palate a little bit. We'll get into some sauces. So we're going to get into today's adventure. Ryan and Lee. Ella, if you didn't know, that's how you say her name. Um, I won this on Cap Crew, and I'm super excited to try it out. Please go to their website. Please support them. It's our first sauce out. Let's see what it contains. We got pineapple, pineapple juice, red habanero pepper puree, red habanero peppers, salt, and acetic acid, distilled vinegar, cilantro, lime juice from concentrate. All right, let's give this bad boy a try. Um, they just launched, uh, I believe it was the 5th of December, uh, is when it shipped out. So, very, very brand new company. They only have one sauce out. Um, now is the time to support them. Um, super excited about this, guys. Ooh, it's thicker than a snicker. So, go ahead and give it a Taylor Swift. For those of you that don't know or haven't ventured into like having a raw habanero, especially a red habanero, there's a, there's definitely a sweetness to it. Um, once you can get past past the spiciness, there's there's a, just an, a, a beautiful beautiful envelopment of sweetness. And what's crazy is the smell of this. It's like it's the pineapple isn't overpowering smell wise it literally smells like just a sweeter version of a habanero and that is super excited to me i cannot wait to try this again today's adventure sauce is great people great company um, they also have an amazing youtube channel please go check that out um, they do a lot of production value in their videos and they're absolutely fantastic they're a lot of funny ones uh it, it's really a good time I'm not chugging everything, Eric. All right, <laughs> chug here. All right. Nice little puree of sauce. Good consistency. Good involvement over the spoon. The smell, you guys, is just amazing. Woo! Oh, I 
it's got a nice little kick to it. That definitely has a nice little kick to it. And it dissipates really well too. That's that's nice. Um, the flavor again. That that pineapple is there, but it's not overpowering, which I feel like you get a lot of when you add, you when people use pineapple and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, it's. I mean, that's probably like maybe maybe a, like that shot of of heat that, that I got from it. It's probably like a three or four for me. Um, it again, it dissipates very quickly, but that's a nice little, nice little pop of heat. Yum. Um, yeah, even got a little tummy warm going on right now. Uh, I don't think that's from the tea. <laughs> that tea was good, but I'm pretty sure that's from the sauce. Uh, I honestly, I give that a, a solid, solid 8.7 out of 10. Um, that that's 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 a solid sauce. That that is a absolutely solid sauce. Again, that it's that right away you get that that disbursement of that sweetness where it, again it's like almost like a, a sweetened habanero, like the natural flavor that you're getting from it. it it's a, it's beautiful, beautifully done, well rounded sauce. Eight point seven out of ten. D get this sauce. Get it. Go buy it right now. You know, like who doesn't want a pineapple chilling, drinking the sauce in their assortment of sauces that they have on their countertop? Go get this. Go buy it right now. Well, not right now, because watch what I'm doing. But after the show is over, go buy this. It's that good. All right. Moving right along. Yeah, the grab. Yeah, for real, Eric. The the. I mean, uh, it's the label is like holographic. I don't know if it's showing up in the video very well, but it's like it's holographic. The the artwork is absolutely phenomenal. It stands out. Um, I'm sure more great things to come from Ryan and Lee Ella. Um, I, I mean, come on, today's adventure. Check them out, please. Go and support. So then we got uh, moving on. We got the Hub Sauce Company is their gold metal mustard. I believe this is Jordan's. Jordan, quote me on that. Is this is this yours, my guy? Pretty sure it is. Love the graphics. Very cool. Yeah, it's Jordan. <laughs> uh, very much like the graphics. Love the gold foil on there. What we got going on in green is why. Uh, I love that on the Canadian sauces, everything is in English and then in French. I don't know why that tickles me pink, but that's fantastic. We got mustard. Mustard seed. Salt. Turmeric. Paprika. Garlic powder. Brown sugar and honey, apple cider vinegar, coconut, aminos, black pepper ground, ghost pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. Well, that's this is gonna be interesting. I'm super excited. I love a spicy mustard. Last spicy mustard I had was from um, uh, Pucker Butt. Um, that that incredibly hot one. It's, it's, I mean, it's it's more heat than it is flavor, but it's, I mean, it's pretty pretty good solid mustard for a chili head. Hey, Miguel. All right. I'm gonna give it the old Taylor Swift. Shake it up. Shake it up. See what we got going on smell wise. Let me go ahead and cleanse the palate here. Oh well that's phenomenal. It's just like honestly you just get like a really nice 
mustardy smell. So like, I know that <laughs> that's pretty generic, but like, like a solid mustard. I I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm a big brat guy, um, uh, and mustard makes it. it. It's a make or break with a brat. Oh man, that smell, man. That's a really solid. Hmm. And I honestly I don't smell any heat yet, which is, is kind of intriguing too. Might be dangerous. I love me some mustard, so we're gonna get a nice big old spoonful. Ooh, nice consistency. It's like uh it's in between like a like a, a Dijon and a like French's mustard, like consistency as far as like the viscosity of it. So it's not too thin and it's not too thick at the same time. Oh, out of the bottle, you get a lot, like you get the black pepper and like those spices that you got going on in there. Ooh. Yeah, let's give this, let's give this bad boy a try. Excuse me. Oh my god. So almost like oh, oh like almost on the cusp of being like a honey mustard. But like not at the same time. You can tell that the brown sugar is caramelized. So you get a you get a great, great sweetness going on in there, but still get attacked by the by the mustard seed and the vinegar. Wow. And then on the very tail end of the flavor, you get a nice little, nice little, nice little, little, little heat kick, but not, not too crazy. It's very, very mellow. Oh, I need another spoonful of that mustard. That is good. Yeah, that is that is something special right there. I can't wait to have this on a product. This is gonna be so good. My mouth like I just had a spoonful. I'm about to have another one and my mouth is already watering. Like, yeah, give me more of that, my dude. Oh. And the consistency is so beautiful. It really is. That's a beautiful sauce. Um, no lie. Um, I'm going to have to order more of this, like, already. For a mustard, this is a 10 out of 10. For, for a hot sauce, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. But for a mustard, this is, this is him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how good it is. This is him. And again, this is the hub. Sasco, check it out. It this yeah yeah uh, yeah you you could make a vinaigrette out of this, put it on a salad, like yum. Uh, I check him out. Hub Sasco again uh, one of those one of those. It, there's so many great producers in this community. And very few of them are not good people. And I can tell you, Jordan's an amazing individual. This is, this really is, it's fantastic. Get this. Like, now. <laughs> it's so good. I'm really, Jordan, I'm really impressed by this, dude. This is, this is yummy. Um, again, vinaigrettes. Uh, put this in some, put this in some egg salad. Uh, oh my god, it's an egg salad. Yeah, yeah, that's happening. I'm gonna just have to make some and do a video on like doing an egg salad sandwich. Um, but a lot of brat. This mustard is where it's at. Um, yeah, 9 out of 10, like on a hot sauce level. 10 out of 10, I'm just a mustard level. That's delicious, bro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Next, uh, this is a uh, capsaicin cartel, which 
I I don't know if I've ever said this. I love that name. Uh, that's a super genius name. I love catchy stuff where it's like I use the same first letter in, in you know in it. Uh, capsaicin, capsaicin, capsaicin cartel, uh, CNC. It's amazing. They have so many great products. Um, please go check them out. But I've been looking forward to this. I got. We're gonna be trying some more Canadian sauces next week, uh, and then the week after that, I've got some sauces from Creature Sauce Co. that I need to get digging into. So, um, as well as a tincture, I think I'll do the tincture next week because it's a holiday themed tincture. Um, but yeah, Nico over at Car Capsaicin Cartel. Um, this is a black garlic hot sauce. Uh, if you guys don't know what black garlic is, um, you essentially like you cook garlic heads for like a month in a slow cooker on like super low as low as you can make it wrap it in foil and you just let it go and so you get this like amazing hey chase you get this amazing amazing like depth of flavor from the garlic like already garlic has like a it's a very distinct and, and, and deep flavor profile but when you when you blacken it it's a game changer. So if you haven't had black garlic, I don't recommend that you make it at home because uh, it, you can mess it up pretty easily. Um, but go get a product that has it and like legitimately has black garlic and like not just the label saying it, but like legitimately has it in there. Um, Capsaicin Cartel has some. Um, what was that? What was that garlic sauce? Um, Pepper Fuel Dreams had a Say Garlic Again mf -er. Um, that was a, an amazing garlic sauce that had black garlic in it. Um, check out a product that has black garlic in it just to experience that culinary deliciousness. Let's get into the ingredients. Again, on the, on the label you have the ingredients in English and then you have them in French. I don't know why that tickles me pink, but that's amazing. So... Let's see here. Where is it? There. Okay. You have. Oh. Okay. Vegetable broth. Cacap manis. Chili sauce. Apple cider vinegar. Tomatoes. White onions. Garlic. Black garlic. Orange juice. Red bell peppers. Soy sauce. Habaneros. Orange zest. Salt. Rosemary. Basil vegetable oil and spices um the first ingredient is vegetable broth and that super threw me for a loop because i've never seen that as an ingredient so now i'm super super intrigued by this uh, more than i already was so let's give this one a try noir 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 mm. yeah I have to hold it in front of the camera for a decent enough amount of time so that way uh, when, <laughs> when, uh, when uh, YouTube it will automatically give me a good uh, a good uh, picture for the video. Noir. Alright. Give that old Taylor Swift. Can we hear that? Oh, that, yeah, that little, with it open. Stop. Oh, my God. Okay, so right away, you get, you get, you get a vegetable medley going on as far as smells go. Like if you roasted vegetables off or you, you made a, a vegetable broth that wide that wide smell of not like necessarily like caramelization but like a heartiness um <laughs> the sauce fragrance Johnny Depp with you you are um uh, that's funny um <laughs> you get like just you like you can you can smell um uh, so for those that aren't culinary like background a, a mirepoix uh, mirepoix is, um, and it's French, so I'm going to use that word right now. Um, a mirepoix is your holy trinity. 
Um, uh, and that is carrots, onions, and celery. Um, wow. Uh, you get that, you get a little bit of the soy sauce, like that richness after that smell. But amazingly, all throughout that is an incredible black garlic smell. I'm really excited about this. Wow. Go ahead and try this out. Oh, the consistency. <laughs> oh, my God. The consistency is absolutely beautiful. I let. Um. I. No, it's it's uh it's gospel jazz in the background, uh mid. Um, I like I don't like a fully pureed sauce, but I don't like like a chunky chunk sauce, like um like the chupacabra chug, <laughs> that League of Fire has. I like um. I like I like a sauce that's right in between where like you definitely there's like some texture still to it um, and this is this is already I'm gonna tell I'm telling you this is gonna be delicious mm. Wow That's incredibly rich in the best way. The rosemary comes out really, really well, too. I was not expecting that. Wow. I'm definitely going to have to put this like, in some ramen. Um, oh, man. Mm. Um, cook it, put this on a steak. Uh, in some ramen, um, roast some vegetables in this. Oh my god, I could chug this whole bottle right now. I'm not even kidding, guys. Oh, mmm, the spice level is at zero, it's not hot, and I'm not, it's not like one of those, like, he says it's not hot. But he's, you know, he's a spicy person, so that doesn't mean anything. No, it, it, there's, there's not, there's literally no heat to it. That is, that is a super rich sauce. That is delicious. That is incredibly savory. Um, this is a ten out of ten. This is so a ten out of ten. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. This is good. Um, wow. Capsaicin Cartel, go check them out. Um, Nico, you, my guy. You got something here, dude. Um, wow. I'm like, I'm smiling. It's so good. Um, I could chug this. I don't want to waste it like that <laughs> uh, because it's that it's it's that good. Wow, guys! Like seriously, go go buy some of this. Um, that's a that's a ten out of ten. Um, and it's I again I wouldn't consider that a hot sauce, but just like a, a, an all-purpose sauce in general. That's where it's at. All right. That's going to be all the sauces for today, but now we're going to talk a little bit. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to talk a little bit about, I love that I've gotten multiple people that have hit me up and told me that their favorite part not is not about this show is not the, um, the trying of the sauces. It's the it's 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 the sermon the pepper sermon or spicy sermon if you will at the end of the video um, that super warms my heart um, makes me very happy makes me want to continue doing this and, and we're gonna be going strong there's a lot more coming we're just seven episodes deep 
it'll get better progressively the more and more we do this the holidays are coming up tomorrow matter of fact so I wanted to talk about the true meaning of Christmas not to be too corny um, but the true meaning of Christmas and what it means um, last week we talked about blessings um, and uh, rolling that into this week uh, another huge thing another huge blessing is family um, whether that's that's immediate family your mom your dad your sister your brother um, or your extended family you know your cousins or your 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 family by choice your wonderful friends I've got quite a few of them in the chat right now in the chat right now watching um, I'm very blessed to have a lot of really good people in my life that even in my darkest moments pick me up when I'm feeling down um, I know I wouldn't be where I'm at with most of the people that, that I chose as my family not the ones I was given I'm glad I have a very good family and they're very supportive they're very good people um, but my extended family is uh, they are they are just absolutely I love them I, I love all you guys um, Christmas is not about presents um, you know I, I know that gets pushed a lot um, you know you gotta in order to show love and affection you gotta buy somebody a present um, you know a lot of people a lot of people um, instead of getting a present they, they'd much rather you, you, you give them a call love you news give them a call um, write them a letter you know yeah you can still do that letters are still a thing um, you know give them a call a, a nice big I get the best hugs big old bear hug uh, and I, I'm not just saying that because like I'm cheap <laughs> like I'm not um, it's not about presence it's about being there for for your family and and not everybody has that gift of having family um, you, you might be away from them you might be there might be you know a lot of distance between you and your family whether that's um, metaphorically or physically um, but but being able to have your family I this is the first time I've been with my family uh, for Christmas in five years um, Thanksgiving was the first time I had, had Thanksgiving with my family in seven years because uh, I was on the West Coast and I lived, uh, lived in California and they lived either lived in Oregon or they lived in Georgia so it just wasn't conducive as far as that goes but very very thankful for this year um, because it's put a lot of things into perspective for myself and for my family to be honest with you to know that what the real meaning of Christmas is and that that we're all together and we all get to share these days together um, my niece is two years old um, and I, I get to experience I'm gonna be able to get to experience her on Christmas morning um, and see her you know her shining smile opening her presents and I think that's really what a lot of people need to uh, focus on these holidays it's it's not about what's under the tree uh, it's not about you know what's on the table for dinner uh, on Christmas Day it, it's about who you're spending that time with and who you take the time to to call and and to wish a Merry Christmas or or uh, 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 a Hanukkah or uh, you know what whatever you celebrate and and just appreciate the the sentiment that is family and that love whether again whether it's 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 real family or extended family to experience what that love is so um, I know I don't like talking on the phone I'm not I I don't know why it's just like I'm not a big phone talker I much rather video chat or you know meet you in person but um, take the time today and tomorrow you know um, a, a phone call to the grandparents the parents you know a friend um, that can make somebody's year and, and, and just by a phone call 10 minute phone call uh, it's crazy what um, a little warmth in somebody's soul can do for them 
So that's that's my that's my charge this week is is to you know maybe you haven't called somebody in a long time, maybe you maybe you're feeling you know you, there's been some distance metaphorically. Um, let's 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 breach those gaps and 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 you know get back to what this this holiday is all about, which is love for the family and 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 blessings and and opportunities that we have to share love with with the people that we care about. So we're going to wrap it up. We've been on oh, an extra long episode. Nothing wrong with that. This has been Pepper Bay. As always, Father Pepper Bay. Love everyone out there. I want everybody to have a very, very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family. Hug your loved ones. Call your loved ones. And most of all, take care of yourself. May the spice be with you and also with you. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Christmas.